Okay, so we got a used Model S about a week ago, and so far we are loving it. Now, um, I've been following Tesla for a while and trying to come up with a realistic way for us to actually own one. My wife and I, we both owned Kias. Um, my car is about two and a half years old. Her Kia was about six and a half years old. And with hers, she was coming up on the 100,000 mile warranty. So we weren't too comfortable keeping the car past the 100,000 mile warranty. So she needed a new vehicle. I didn't need a new vehicle. I wanted a Tesla. She wasn't as into Teslas as I was, but I, I took it upon myself to see if I could convince her to like Tesla as well. So that was kind of my mission. So, you know, I've been doing research, so I started sharing YouTube videos with her about all the benefits, all the features that Tesla offers. So for my Kia, I got a Kia Soul. It was a very affordable option. And since it was an inexpensive car, I was able to get like leather and heated cooled seats and you know, the, the premium sound. My car was loaded for a Kia Soul. So I kind of wanted my wife to have a loaded car as well. And she was leaning the same way as well. And the price range we were looking at there was about 41 to 45,000. And that's when it clicked like, hey, I remember watching these videos where they said Tesla's used Tesla Model S's were available from $35,000. So started doing my research and showing her those options and slowly and slowly, kind of just with the safety and uh, she drives about 35 miles a day to work, 35 miles a day back from work. So to save all that gas money as well, just, you know, building the cases as to why it would be a good idea for us to own a Tesla. So we, we were looking through the website and we found a few that we were really interested in. At this point, we had our pre-approval from the bank. You know, we were ready to move. It was very hard for us to get a test drive here in Kansas City. Um, they just didn't have too many time slots available. Uh, the weekend seemed to book up fast because uh, that's when everyone was available to, to do the test drive. So we couldn't uh, get a test drive for maybe two to three weeks out. Uh, especially if you wanted a weekend and um, we're also trying to get in contact with someone to narrow the options down from five to that one car that we really wanted so uh, through the website um, my wife filled out the information there and requested for someone to call her back I called the phone number on the website several times the customer service people there are great uh, this might turn into a little bit of a rant but um, it, it turned out okay at the end so I called, spoke with customer service. They took my information down, and it seems like they have an account for me in the computer because, um, you know, I would give them my phone number, and they were able to confirm, like, oh, so you live in in uh, Kansas in the Kansas City metro, or uh, is this your email address? So they definitely had record of me, and I think they even have records of every time that I called. And each time I called, you know, like the, the first time, like if you don't hear back from someone within a couple days, give us a call back. So I call back in a couple days and like, well, if you don't hear with someone by the end of the day, give us a call back tomorrow. So I gave them a call back tomorrow and, you know, I'm letting them know each time like, all right, well, yesterday I was told this two days ago, I was told this. And uh, so again, like, all right, I'm going to give this to a guy. He'll call you back within an hour and, you know, an hour, two hours passed. Next day passed. I still didn't hear back. Um, I finally heard back from someone and once we heard back from someone the process was able to move extremely quickly we we're able to, to narrow the, the car down to the one that we wanted and it was in Chicago so um, we ended up we, we didn't have to, to travel anywhere to, to pick up the car so so that worked out well okay so this is where our search started we started on the Tesla site well I started on the Tesla site uh, if you go to their used inventory you click on your used inventory it'll load up a page now the thing about this page is I think in the background they're using some of your information from your IP address and it's going to show you cars that are in your geographical location it didn't matter what zip code I put in here it seemed like I always came back with the same options of cars available um, you can select Model S, Model X, 
Uh, it has, you know, different exterior colors that you can use to narrow the search to, to look more at um, models that you're aligned with. We were looking for a Model S, so we selected Model S. You can reduce the price range if you like. Um, when we were searching, we, we left it there. And one thing we would change is we would change how they were sorted. So right now it's sorted by feature. It, it's probably gonna stay the same no matter what I select, but um, we selected low to high. So the lowest uh, cost price cars would come up at the top the more higher or expensive cars would come up at the bottom and we could look at it that way so you know we filtered our, our, our price range and we would just look at cars in our price range with this our options were limited and it's something that I noticed because at the the same time we're doing our search you know we're looking at videos and they're saying you know there's model S's that are available from $35,000 and we weren't coming up with any of those in our search. Like, you know, the search that we're doing right now, the least expensive model was $46,100. So, you know, even, but, but from here, you know, I was looking at cars, my wife wanted a black car. So, you know, we'll say, we'll, we'll look at this Model S that's available and you click on it and it, it loads a page. And this page has a pretty good amount of information. And the crazy thing is this car is actually loaded, located in Missouri right now. We didn't find too many cars that were located in Missouri, but yeah, this car that's on the website right now is available in our home state. So that's pretty cool. But it, it shows you the year, uh, the, the battery rating, uh, the EPA range, the 265 miles. Just to note, this is the EPA rating on the car when it was new. Um, the car will probably experience some form of battery degradation. So, you know, just keep in mind that this range is for an 85 kilowatt hour battery new. So if you did get this car, it, it'll probably, you know, charge up to a little bit less than that. So keep that in mind, but it gives you the amount of miles that the, the car has on it. And you might want to take note of this. That's the last four digits of the VIN number. So when you do speak with someone, if you call in, that's what they're gonna ask for, like a P and, and, and five digits. So that's the number. It has some pictures. So it'll show you an approximation of what the car looks like inside. These aren't actual pictures of the actual car, but it's all the features that are on the car. So, you know, if you, you did get this car, it would have this type of rims and it has the, the tan leather interior. So those pictures are an approximation of the car it's not pictures from the actual car. But the features, it gives you, you know, it has solid black paint, all glass panoramic roof. That was something important to my wife. She wanted a panoramic roof. So that's something that we looked at when we filtered. 19 inch rims, has the tan Napa leather seats, a piano black decor. Um, I won't read all of the things, you can, you can see them yourself. Um, this is the number that I called, and again, the people I spoke with were really nice, but um, they were just like customer service people, and we wanted uh, to speak to, to someone that could sell us the car. Um, but yeah, that's the number that we called, and my wife actually clicked that link to, to request a call back a couple of times. It has a good amount of information. The tech package is something that's very important. Like, we were not gonna get a car unless it had the tech package. but. It, it shows you all the information for that car. So like I was saying, you know, the, this is just cars that are available within, you know, our region. So um, our region, since we're in Kansas City, it went from like Texas up to like Minnesota or Wisconsin. So th those were all the cars that came back on a search for us. So again, with my research and uh, looking through YouTube videos, I found another site that we actually used. Okay, so again, from the Tesla inventory search, one thing I'm gonna let you know, like they have filters over here to the left and right now it shows they have 572 vehicles available. Uh, we were searching this site about two and a half, three weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer maybe three weeks ago to a month ago. But when we were searching, there were 1,200 vehicles available. 
there are 700 less vehicles available right now so they are selling used cars big time so if you're looking to purchase uh, from their used inventory I advise you um, go ahead and make a move on it because these cars are moving um, if you select you, you know one of the filters it's gonna reduce the number of options so right now I selected model s so it shows you what that includes all of these options that's all we're looking at um, so that went from 570 vehicles to uh, 276 vehicles for model s um, you don't have to filter if you don't want to you can hit the trash can to remove the filters um, my wife when she was looking on this site she actually signed up so she signed up for a price range so you know she, she put our price range that we're looking in so if a new vehicle showed up within our price range she would get an email notification so that's another option you can do I didn't I didn't sign up I would just stalk the site and search off um, I didn't narrow any vehicles out when I searched I just changed the, the price so I wanted the lowest prices first so I just pressed that button one time and now it's showing the lowest prices first it also says if there was a price change which is pretty cool and this will show like the price change over time so you can see that this vehicle was dropped two thousand uh, dollars fairly recently um, so this is a silver metallic 2014 um, Model S with a 60 kilowatt hour battery and if I go back to the site that I was searching originally that car isn't available here so it's a $44,000 car the lowest price car I have available in my region is $46,000 remember the the P number that I said was so important um, it has on the Tesla inventory search site as well but it's also a clickable link and if you click the link then it brings you to that same page that would load from the Tesla site so here's the page that loaded for that car and you can see this is located in the San Francisco Bay Area that's outside of um, our region that we're assigned to because we're in Kansas City the thing for us uh, if we found a vehicle that we we're interested in New York and California and Florida anywhere we would have traveled to get the car like we have frequent flyer miles with Southwest we would have bought you know one-way tickets with our South Southwest points and went to pick up the car where it was available and drove the car back and just stopped at superchargers to, to charge up the car like you know my wife's like calculating like how much gas are we gonna spend on that uh, hello it's a Tesla I can stop at superchargers on the way home and it's just it would take a little bit longer to drive home but you know we, would, we were planning to make a vacation out of it so yeah if, if, if you have the availability to travel to get your car it might save you money I'm um, gonna pull that car back up since it was located in, in San Francisco they have like a disclaimer down here the transportation fee of up to two thousand dollars so that's we could save that two thousand dollars by going to pick up the car if it was located out of our region so we used the inventory search and it just gave us a much wider variety of options to choose from so you know you can see the colors you can see the amount of miles you can see if the, the price dropped on it um, certified pre-owned is CPO they have some cars that are inventory cars and for the inventory cars you might be able to take advantage of the the tax credits so depending on which state you're in so you know you want to speak to your tax advisor about that so we actually used this site to find a car that was well suited for us so you know through, through my search all right here's solid black 2013 um, you know my wife wanted black so we can go into it uh, take a look at it uh, this one doesn't have the panoramic roof so you know we we'd pass up on that one but this is what we used to make our search and so we narrowed it down to to a couple of three cars that we were really interested in and that's when we really pushed and reached out to someone like 
make sure that we got in contact with someone at Tesla. So one thing that I'm going to recommend if you run into problems with someone getting back in contact with you and you're ready to pull the trigger, you have your financing, everything's done, you're ready to get in this used Tesla and you run into problems, reach out to me, like uh, send me a, a private message or leave a comment on this video and, and I will do my best to get you in contact with someone because I know it was helpful for me. So once we were able to get in contact with someone, we picked the car that we wanted. Uh, we had to put our $1,000 deposit down to reserve the car. And once we put that $1,000 deposit down, like that car kind of disappeared from their used inventory. So that was kind of cool. And it set up our My Tesla page where you get to, to log in and track the progress of your purchase. I know for uh, new vehicles, like there's a lot more steps that they track. Uh, for used, uh, there's just like four steps that, that they track. But any piece of information that they ask for from us, I tried to get it to them as quickly as possible. I didn't want any hold up in the process to be on my part. So, you know, we had to provide proof of insurance and copies of our driver's license and information from our bank. So uh, also information about our trade in and pictures of our trade in. So everything that we asked, we turned around as quickly as possible and everything just kind of flew by on that. Like the, the, day we placed the deposit and kind of reserved the car was a Tuesday and by the following Friday uh, our car was in Kansas City ready for us to pick up actually Thursday our car arrived to Kansas City and, was, uh, and they had to get it ready for us to pick up so it was a little under two weeks I've been told that that is not the norm that's outside of the norm it takes a bit longer than that for other people but with our car and our situation, it went by pretty fast, but those two weeks seemed like it took forever. We were just like, oh, can we get our car already? All right, so that was a good amount of information. I'm gonna end this video right here. Uh, the next video I plan on doing will be based on the delivery. So I'll go over some more of the things that happened um, from, you know, we, we received contact that our car was, car was on the way to Kansas City until we actually picked up our car and you know we'll show you videos and pictures from our delivery and the unveil that they did for us so if you like this video uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want notifications on when I do more videos and I can also hook you up if you're looking to get a new Model S or a new Model X I have a referral code that I can give to you to get you a thousand dollars off and you'll also get free supercharging. So the link to that is down below in the description. And until next time, see you later.